Welcome to Savage XR. If you're new to this game, make sure you play the tutorials first. You will be facing real human players on the battlefield, and going in unprepared will not make it any easier. Welcome to Savage XR. This is the Human Legion tutorial. You are in the loadout interface. Here you can select your unit and equipment. Please pick up a bow and press spawn. You have spawned near the stronghold. Your enemies will try to destroy it. Make sure you defend it at all costs. But first, let's get familiar with the interface. There is a chat panel, bottom left. Keep an eye on it to coordinate with your team. You can press Y to start chatting. The bottom right panel shows Inventory and Ammo, Health Status in Red, Experience in Blue, Stamina in Cyan. There is a mini-map top left. It shows allies in green, squad mates in blue, enemies in red. And top right, you can find your team resources and stronghold health. Always listen to your commander. He will guide you with a beacon on the battlefield. Now go to the beacon. If you can't see it, check the arrows at the top. You can gain experience by mining resources, killing enemies or building and repairing structures. Your commander wants to build an arsenal. It cost 500 redstone to build, so we need 50 more. Go to the redstone mine and press R to mine. Excellent! We have just enough stone. Your commander will now build an arsenal. Go to the arsenal and press R to build it. Buildings under construction have a transparent green look. Building and repairing helps you get experience fast. Well done! Your team relies on your commander. He in turn relies on you to defend structures and supply resources. Keep redstone and gold coming to ensure your team's victory. Melee weapons are very important in close combat. They deal far more damage than ranged weapons like the bow. Legion units can block attacks while using their melee weapon. The block forms a 180 degrees arc in front of you. Try blocking with your hatchets by right-clicking. Practice your melee attacks and blocks on the Oscors. You will earn experience by killing such critters. Remember to pick up the gold and ammo they leave behind. Good job! Legion units are not as fast as beast units with melee weapons. However, they are very good with ranged weapons. Try some target practice on those chiprels over there. Select your bow in the inventory, with a mouse wheel or by pressing 2. Keep the attack button pressed to load an arrow. Using the bow efficiently takes some practice. Fortunately, your commander has now researched the crossbow. Go back to your stronghold and enter it by pressing E. Now pick up a crossbow and click the spawn button. Try some target practice on the chip rails with your crossbow. Unlike the bow, clicking the fire button releases the arrow immediately. Excellent! You should now be able to defend yourself. The commander can build garrisons to expand into the battlefield. Garrisons act as forward supply stations and spawn points for your team. Your commander has built a garrison west of your stronghold. Go back to your stronghold, then spawn at the new garrison. Ouch! Looks like an enemy sniper was waiting for you. Don't worry, you can respawn and pay him back. Press the L key to go back to the loadout screen. Your commander has researched new magnetic weapons. Pick up the coil rifle. It's the best weapon a sniper can have. Then spawn again at the garrison. Now get this enemy sniper. Select the coil rifle and press Z to zoom. And press Z to zoom. Well done! The coil rifle is the weapon of choice for many players. However, it is generally only available late in the game. There are 12 weapons your commander can research. Each has its benefits and drawbacks. To afford buying units, weapons and items, you need gold. 
You can mine gold or ask the commander for some when you're out. But the biggest amounts of gold come from killing enemies and neutral critters. If you need gold later on, kill those monkits over there. One of the most popular weapons is the flux gun, constructed at the electric factory. Please go back to your garrison to pick one up. Your commander has researched some extra items. Why not get a few med kits and an ammo pack? Just make sure to pick up that flux gun and a relocator, then spawn again at the garrison. The relocator is a must-have when going into battle. You drop a teleport device near a safe point and you can return to its location instantly. Select your relocator and place it near the garrison. Great! Now proceed down the valley. Ah! An ambush! Ah! An ambush! Kill those scavengers with your flux gun before they kill you. Excellent! Now carry on down the valley until you find a spawn flag. Spawn flags offer a strategic advantage to your team. Holding control over flags can decide the outcome of battle. Now attack the flag with your hatchets to capture it. There are reports of hidden enemies in this area. A great way to detect unseen threats is to use sensors. It would be a waste of time to go all the way back to the garrison. So it's time you use your relocator. You still have it, don't you? Now enter the garrison to pick up a sensor and a coil rifle. There are only 15 sensors for the whole team, so use them strategically. Now spawn at the flag you just captured. Now place the sensor near the beacon. Your commander will often draw strategic orders on the minimap, so make sure to check it regularly. Can you see red beacons on the battlefield and minimap? Those are the enemies detected by the sensor. Quick, get them with your coil rifle. Well done! Now let's check out some of the more explosive items. Enter the new garrison your commander built nearby. Your commander has researched the demolition pack. It is a great item for destroying enemy buildings. Pick one up and spawn again at the new garrison. Let's try to take down the wall over there. It would take a good five minutes to do it with hatchets, but only a few seconds with a demolition pack. Just move close to the enemy building, then drop your demolition pack. Now get away or the blast will most likely kill you too. Demolition packs take about 10 seconds to go off. Remember that enemies can easily destroy demo packs. Always protect them just long enough to allow you to get away safely. Further down the valley, you will find the enemy lair. The good news, all enemies are away somewhere. The bad news, that lair is protected by spires. Luckily, your commander has just researched the Ballista Siege Unit. Luckily, your commander has just researched the Ballista Siege Unit. Go back to the garrison to pick one up. Click on the ballista in the top right panel. Click on the ballista in the top right panel, then spawn again at the new garrison. Good. Now make your way down the pass to the enemy lair. This is a great spot from which to destroy those spires. Quickly, do it before the enemy notices your presence. Uh-oh, looks like you got their attention. Now press X to hop out of the ballista. Now press X to hop out of the ballista. Then quickly return to the garrison, pressing Shift to run. It looks like your commander has improved your outpost's defenses. Let's see how the behemoths like that. Behemoths are the largest siege unit the beast hordes can throw at you. Fighting them one-on-one -on -one would be suicide. But they can be dispatched using siege weapons as a team. Just don't forget to keep your distance from that tree trunk. All right, it looks like that was the last of them. Your commander has now researched the catapult. Go back to the garrison and pick one up. Catapults are the strongest Legion siege unit. It is now time to finish off the enemies and their lair. 
Now make your way down the pass and attack the enemy lair. You now know the basics of playing with a Legion team, but it's always good to know your enemy's weaknesses. So be sure to check out the Beast Team tutorial. So be sure to check out the Beast Team tutorial. You'll be a step closer to holding your own on the battlefield. So be sure to check out the Beast Team to So be sure to check out the Beast Team tutorial. You'll be a step closer to holding your own on the battlefield. So be sure to check out the Beast Team tutorial. You'll be a step closer to holding your own on the battlefield.